Hey everybody, this is your Digital Super Saiyan 3, back here with another video. And, well, I just got done re-watching this anime that came out back in the 2010s called Akame Ga Kill. I, I re-watched it on Netflix. It's only 26 episodes. Akame Ga Kill is definitely one of the more most brutal anime I've ever watched. I know technically there have been a lot of other brutal anime that are just as bloody or just as incredibly brutal as Akame Ga Kill is. But Akame Ga Kill to me was definitely a unique intensity. So, what's the story? A young villager boy by the name of Tatsumi and his friends set out for the capital to make money for their poor village in the north. However, Tatsumi came to realize that the capital is pretty corrupt as he encountered a group of bandits, or a group of assassins, not bandits. Why would I say bandits? This group is called Night Raid. And it's led by a woman named Najida. Night Raid basically works with and is a major ally of a revolutionary army to overthrow the corrupt nature of the empire. Of the corrupted empire. Which is also being controlled from the inside by its corrupt minister who basically is manipulating the young emperor who, get this, is a freaking child. So, to counteract Night Raid, the Empire decided to make their own unique band of, of mercenaries to take on Night Raid, and that is the Jaegers led by a woman named Esdeth, who is definitely the strongest woman in the entire empire. Both the Jaegers, as well as Night Raid, wield a bunch of weapons called Imperial Arms. Very powerful weapons that were created during the first di all the way back to the empire's very first dynasty. And man, these Imperial Arms are nothing to mess with. Night Raid's members, the other members of Night Raid consist of characters like Leone, who can turn herself into a, into a lioness thanks to a belt she wears. A girl by the name... A pink-haired girl by the name of Mine, who uses a ginormous gun, or bazooka, or this giant gun that she wields, called Pumpkin. A wild child by the name of Akame, who uses a demon sword by the name of Marusame. Lubuk, who is a womanizer who uses this weapon called Crosstail. Shell, who uses these giant sword, who uses these giant scissors. A girl by the name of Shell, who uses giant scissors. And Balot, who uses this army, this armor called Incursio, which Tatsumi later gains in this series. I love how they managed to make this show so brutal. Like I said, I love how managed they made it, they managed to make this show so freaking brutal. Like and managed to show us that the rich in this show are just as corrupt. These noblemen can be so fucking corrupt. They are definitely at their most over the top and showing how corrupt they are. And the minister that they need to kill to bring down this empire is named Minister Honest. Yeah, that's his name. Minister Honest. Yeah, like I would trust a name like that. Akame's own little sister, 
by the name of Kurame, is also a member of the Jaegers. So, it all sense, there's also this, the Jaegers also have their own Tatsumi character by the name of Wave, except he comes from a town where it's all about fishing. Yeah, he's all about fishing. There's also these other members that soon join Night Raid after two of their members get killed. One is the name Susano, who is a living Imperial Arms. Because, yes, Imperial Arms also have organic types, which are living weapons. Ed Susano is one of them, as he is Najida's Imperial Arms. And, honestly... Akami got killed to me. I would rewatch it if I ever get the chance to rewatch it again. It's just so brutal, like I said, and they somehow managed to sometimes include comedy in this anime as well. But, but it's all about its dark story and how dark it can be because this anime is so freaking dark. Because a lot of people die in this anime. Yeah. Everywhere you look, people are going to keep dying in this anime. So, in all sense, a comic a kill to me just shows you how greedy and corrupt that the rich are. It definitely is a reminder that all rich people can be just as corrupt. And yet, there's still a noble cause. Anyway... To fight against these corrupt individuals. But still, A Comey Got Killed to me would just always be that unique series. Anyway, this has been your Digital Super Saiyan 3, and I'll see you later.